Hey everybody. It's Gary. <clears throat> labor Day. I hadn't done much labor today. I labored yesterday. And uh, I've been pretty lazy <laughs> today. Been tired all day. But uh, it's, uh, well it's about 7 o'clock in the evening here. It's finally cooled off a little bit. It's, uh, it's down out of the 90s now. And uh, I thought it was time for us to get going on the International 300. Uh, I've got a bunch of parts in, uh, a lot of new things I'm going to put on it, and been gathering up some things. But the first thing we need to do, we need to get it running decent. And uh, what I want to do tonight, I want to get this carburetor off of here and uh, get it tore down and get it in the solution, carburetor cleaner. And uh, I've got a kit for it, and we're going to put a kit in it and uh, get this old girl running decent. And uh, don't have to run it where you don't have to run it without the choke, and it's running rich. And just, uh, just minor stuff, but it needs a kit in it, and we're going to do that. So let's, uh, let's take this carburetor off, and uh, we'll get started. All right, I hope everybody can see. Boy, it's nice out here. It's cooled off. And we've had low humidity here for the past few days, or past day or so anyway. We had a big rain come through. Good grief, no wonder. I think that old hose needs to be replaced. That might be something we need to look into. Get this old girl tore apart. We got her inside now before we can kind of get to it. Pretty nasty. I suspect it's probably stopped up. But I don't know yet. Let's 
see if I can get you a little bit closer here. How's that? That better? I can say I hadn't done a carburetor in a while. Oh well, yeah, I think that that tip there is pretty nasty. It's all crowded up. In fact, it's all pitted up. I think that's probably one of our problems right there. Yeah, our main jet valve adjustment is pretty, pretty nasty too. This, this right here has a packing in it and behind it I'll have to get a pick to pick that out I'm sure I've got some of those picks on there yeah I'll have to get a pick and get that picked out A lot of people just take these par partially apart. I like to take them all apart, all the way. Because in a carburetor, Golly. Farmer Jones must tighten that up. In a carburetor, a little speck of dust makes a difference. Alright, there's that, there's that. Gotta... This is, I believe this is our air. This is just a plug, but I'm gonna take it out because I want all these passages to be free and clear. interested to see the inside of this down in this bowl we're going to take this apart and we're going to set it in a, some chem dip carburetor cleaner I hadn't bought any of that in a while I had to go buy a can used to keep a can handy it sure is nice to work on something when you don't have to hook it up to a computer to get it dialed in See what we got here. Oh, yeah, she's pretty ugly. She's pretty ugly down in there. 
don't know if you can see that. Let me get a little flashlight. Look down in there. See all that trash in there? That's nothing but trouble. So, uh, get this the rest of the way apart. And, uh, this Venturi out of here. I want to get that jet out of there. Let me go get a socket for that. I'll be right back. Alright, let's see if we can get her out of there now. Yeah, that's clear. It's got some gunk in it, though. I'll have to get that out of there in a second. Old gaskets are about shot. Let's check our needle in our seat. Float looks good. I wasn't having any problems with it leaking, so I think the needle and seat's okay. But we got a new one in the kit, so we're going to replace it. Unless this is a brass one. No, it's a rubber one. And it's pretty well worn. I don't know if you can see that or not. Focus there, camera. But it's got a little wear on it. So we'll replace that. Well, it's not near as bad as I thought it was. But it's dirty. And we're going to fix it. Alright, we're going to put her in the in a chem dip and the carburetor cleaner. And we will see you tomorrow to put it back together.